good morning um, or basically afternoon. So uh, last night I got kind of hyper focused and I stayed up till three in the morning making masks. I do that when I get hyper focused on things. I haven't done that in a while. But anyways, um, I slept in this morning <laughs> till 30, which is the latest I've slept probably in years, maybe even seven years. Um, anyway, that's my story as to why I'm in the playroom because the whole morning has gotten shifted. But I'm glad I did it and I'm glad I slept. So that being said, we've got master move. This is gonna be reverse fly, which works your back muscles. So upper back, So, but everything that we do always engages your back muscles. So on the reverse fly, you're hinging at the hips. This is just to set up. I've got two pound weights. Remember you can use any, actually let me explain this before I just awkwardly do it bent over. So you can use lanterns that I showed you, cleaning products, water bottles, canned food. You can get rocks and just kind of hold them in your hand. Or you can do this with nothing and just focus on your form. So again, to so work your back muscles, you're hinging at the hips, slight bend at your knees. So we're not locking our knees out. You want that slight bend, keeping our spine lengthened. So what that means is that we're not arching our back. So a lot of times as people bend over, they kind of do a this. Um, shoulder blades pull back and down. So notice if I'm like this and I consciously pull my shoulder blades back and down, it lengthens my spine. Pushing your tailbone back, but we're not doing like a hyperextension either. You don't want to have like your butt up and then your head up. So neutral spine, tucking your tailbone under slightly, engage those abdominal muscles. So you're pulling in and up through your center, keeping that length to your spine. Working against gravity, same as we had done with those tricep extensions. So you don't want to be standing on this one because you want your body to be facing the ground so that as you pull your arms up, you're pulling them away from where the gravity is. You've got a slight bend at your elbow, almost as if you were hugging a tree stump. I don't know why you'd be doing that, but that's the slight bend at your elbow. And then from here, without swinging, without changing anything at your hips once you're lined up, you're lifting your arms to the side, shoulder height, squeezing those shoulder blades together, and then lowering down. So pretend you had a pencil right in between your shoulder blades, and you're lifting and squeezing, and trying to hold that pencil there, and then releasing back down. So a couple things to keep in mind. Again, we talked about the length of our spine. We don't want to um, extend or contract it. We want that spine length in, abdominal muscles in and up. Chin is away from our chest. So a lot of times I see people doing this in class. If, you, um, if your chin is touching your chest, you're going to want to lift that chin up slightly. Think about your chin and your chest being the same as if you were standing. So you wouldn't stand like this and you wouldn't stand like this. You would stand like this. So keep your head that way as you hinge forward. And then as we move our arms, another thing that I see a lot of is that people kind of do a combination of like a deadlift fly. You want to isolate those back and shoulder muscles as you lift up. So keeping your spine lengthened, arms to the side. Now I'm doing something here with my wrist, I'm realizing I need to tell you about as well. As I'm bringing my trying to figure out the best way to show you. You want a neutral wrist, so you don't want to be um, in any sort of a funky positioning with your wrist. Neutral wrist as you squeeze up. So what I was doing is I was kind of going like this, which I can even feel it strained here. Neutral wrist, not like this, not like this. So if you're ever doing a fitness video and you hear neutral wrist, it means this. You hear neutral spine, means lengthening your spine without hyper, um, extending or flexing it um, and then you always want to focus on breathing as well and then when we're doing any standing moves you also really want that micro bend so that you're not injuring the knee joint so you're not, you're not down here but you're not hyper extended um, and locking <coughs> excuse me locking out at the knees so it looks like a lot more people are on so apparently this is a better time to catch people versus the 730 that I've been doing Ben you want to say hi before I hang up Hi. <laughs> um, can you still see me? Yeah, I don't know if they can see Teddy though. Teddy's back here. Yeah, Teddy's back there. Anyway, yeah, I think you can see Teddy. Anyways, have a really good Sunday, and um, we got one more week of this, and then something new. So enjoy your day. It's supposed to be really warm today in. Um, Oh my gosh, where are we? Connecticut. <laughs> and then warm tomorrow too. And I just realized I'm watching this. Hopefully this is in the group and not on my Facebook page as I'm seeing everybody that's watching it. Anyways, um, have a great day.